Silver Tempest, the new Pokemon TCG expansion, uh, has been out for about a week now, and I haven't had a chance to uh, open it yet, but for today and tomorrow, we've got an entire booster box. So uh, 18 packs today and 18 packs tomorrow. You clicked on this video to watch me open Pokemon cards or play video games, whatever it may be. To help this channel grow, please like the video, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend. Now back to what you came here for. So this is Silver Tempest. This is the booster box, uh, 36 packs in total. Uh, like I said, today we're going to do 18 packs and then tomorrow we're going to do the remainder. So let's get this out here. There we go. Pop that to the side for tomorrow. Uh, and let's pre-open them as we normally do, but let's first take a look at the artwork. I really, really like the artwork with the Lugia and the, um, the Lugia and the Alolan Vulpix. Really, really cool. So definitely a, a really nice uh, theme. And, uh, and I'm, I'm hoping the card artwork is, uh, is reflective of that and hopefully it's really nice as well. Only one way to find out though, let's open them up and uh, see what's inside. Alright, all packs pre-opened, we've got uh, 18. Let's just get straight into it. I know that there's a lot of uh, really cool artwork in this set. It's a bigger set uh, like most Sword and Shield sets. Um, and let's just get straight into it. Same card trick, and we're off. Wallace, Lantern. Actually, yeah, we are going to look at a few of the sets, or a few of the cards, but only when they come up. Um, there are some cool cards in this one. Speaking of uh, cool cards, there are some really nice artworks from what I've seen so far uh, online, but, I mean, only one way to find out ourselves, huh? Petalil, Ariados as the reverse, and, ooh, a Skun Tank. So, really what we're trying to do is we're just trying to get through these. It's a little bit of a, uh, just a way to display the new set, which I tried to do for Lost Origins, or Lost Origin, however you pronounce it. And um, this was before I moved to the hybrid set, and uh, yeah, when I had that webcam, it was just not focusing on any of the uh, cards. And uh, so there was two whole videos, that's very cute. Yeah, two whole videos basically just in the bin. That's very cool. I do like that that card. That's very, very cool. Very cute. Ooh, Ponita. Also very cute. Venonat. Fennekin. And an Arcanine. Very cool. Yeah, when I was recording Lost Origins, I, I would spend way too long just trying to get the cards to focus. And... So I did a booster box, and after the first video, I'm like, ah, oh, that's all right, I could probably make it work. And then after the second video, I was just like, that's it. There's no point continuing with this at all. So I basically just turfed uh, those two videos, and um, yeah, just I think that was the catalyst for me moving to this hybrid set. Like I've said before, it's a little bit of extra work. Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> what is that? Oh, it looks so stupid. Um, it is a little bit of extra work trying to sync up the videos and all that sort of stuff. But I think it's 100% uh, worth it when you get a lot better quality. Cool. Right. So I've seen a few very cool cards, very interesting cards. There's a lot more to go. Um, but because we've got 18 packs and we've only we've only opened up two, we're going to uh, pick up the pace a little bit. And I'll stop if there's some really cool cards that we want to focus on. Um, alright, Dupiter, uh, Spinder, Phoebus, there's a lot of Pokemon in here that I'm not really familiar with either. Snow Run, whatever that is, and, oh, that's cool. Actually, that is very rare from my understanding, and the centering on that is perfect. Whew, that is a good start. Like I said, there's a lot of really cool artwork in this set, and uh, and that's definitely one of them. That's definitely one of them. The cool thing with this set is that it's got dragon types in it as well, so there is a couple of dragonites. Um, so let's just keep going. Right, let's just pick up the pace because we are three packs in and we're taking forever. 
Uh, yep, Phoebus, Zora, and a Gardevoir. Cool. Alright, I think I need to hurry this up a little bit. Otherwise, this video is going to be half an hour long. No one wants that. Right. Stonjourna. That thing, that thing, that thing. Very cute. Finnegan, Murkrow, Beldum, Baltoy, Vulpix. Cool. And a Metacham. Looking very seductive, <laughs> to say the least. All right, let's keep going. White code cards, I know, can also give uh, radiance. Well, I mean, any any pack can give radiance, but um, yeah, I do like the radiant cards. Let me just fix this up a little bit. Um, but I don't know. They picked some weird Pokemon for the Radiance. Oh, what is that? That does not look like a Krogunk at all. Ugh. Solosis, Slowpuff, and that thing. <laughs> yeah. There's a few of these Pokemon that also haven't made it to Pokemon Go yet. And post, like, Gen 2... My Pokemon knowledge really only comes from Pokemon Go. So, if it's not in Pokemon Go, and it's after Gen 2, like, that thing, um, then I just don't know about it. So, that's alright. We do what we can. Indeedy. Marnie. That one's just released in Pokemon Go. And, an unknown. We're getting a lot of unknown. Very cool, actually. That can go right there. I've just gone and got myself like a little sponge thingy, like they do at, um, like they've got at the supermarkets where it's easier for them to grip the bags. Um, this way, it's easier for me to grip the cards. I'm finding it really tricky at the moment getting some grip, so hopefully that works a lot better. Look at that. Now we can start speed running it. What is that? Relicanth. Ooh, nice. Trainer gallery. Beautiful. And a Moongus. <laughs> Very stupid, I know. Uh, right, so every now and then I'm just going to dunk my finger in here. And that usually helps with uh, making it a bit grippier. And I can just speed run through the cards. I'm talking absolute nonsense right now. <laughs> uh, right, let's go. And dunk. And a punny. That thing. That thing. Swa funny looking Swablu. Swirlix. Rotom. Dreepy, Vulpix. Oh, there you go. Talk about Radiant. Serena. Radiant Serena. And a Clink Clang. That's cool. I like the effect on it. It's really, really cool. And this is an absolute mess right now. Let me just fix this up first. What a mess. Alright, let's keep going. Okay. Uh, code card over there, four to the front, a little bit of a dunk, and we're ready to go. Nine tails, leafy, uh, that thing, whatever, rufflet, Volpix, drowsy, growlith, rotum, and azura. I need to make sure I fix these up every single time, because otherwise they just they turn into a big mess, big pile of cards. Right. And a dunk. Right. Fossil. Energy. Tora Cat. Like, what is that? I've never seen that before. Um, a Molga. I know about that one. Chimeco. Baneri. Drowsy. Spinarak. Swordwood and Shieldbutt. Okay. Cool. I know those ones from the game. And a Crobat Hollow. Nice. That's really cool. Um, interesting hairstyles, but they can go right under my face. Very cool. Lots of really cool cards from today. I am liking this set. Um, I know I've only really opened like 10 packs or something like that. Um, but very cool. Lance. Archon. Clang. Mischievous. Whaler. Oh, that's its nose or blowhole. That makes sense. Um, <laughs> in Pokemon Go, I always got confused as to which ones were its blowhole and which ones were its eyes. But uh, on the top of its head, the blowhole makes sense, huh? Metatite, Clang, and Incineroar. 
Cool. Alright, let's keep going. Yeah, when they announced uh, Silver Tempest, I was like, oh yeah, it looks pretty cool. And then as the card list started coming out, um, I was very intrigued. Uh, not one that I'll collect, but but I do like my dragon types, so I was, uh, I was hooked. Duosion, Ralts, funny looking Krogunk, Solosis, Zubat, Elgium, Pikachu Reverse Holo, very cool, and a Talonflame. Alright, let's keep going. Almost finished. Oh, these cards I don't think I cut all the way through. That's alright. And I bet you there's nothing in there. Forward to the front. Alright. Uh, Claydol, Worker, Sunflora, Durant, Ralts, Fletchling, Dratini, Clink, Krogunk as a reverse holo, Kel Keldo, Keldio. Cool, fix this up. Pile gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Makes sense, doesn't it? Uh, okay. Let's keep going. Alright. That thing, Dedene, Quadstone, Stunfisk, Dugadomaru, um, Esper, Smeagol, Litten, Gym Trainer, and ooh, Volpix V. Very nice. Very cool card. That can go right on the edge. <laughs> it's set based around Lugia and Volpix, or Lolan Volpix, and I'm shoving it all the way to the side. That's alright. Right. Waylord, Nine Tails, Claydol, Fungus, Sandigast, Relicanth, Hulucha, Togodomaru, uh, Fletchinder, and a Zygarde. Alright, last pack. And we finish with the uh, Alolan Vulpix. Let's see what we can get. It is a black code card, so that always uh, makes it a little bit nicer. Because at least we can get a minimum hollow. Right. Bit of a dunk. More Pico, that thing. Waylord, Petalil, Chinchow, Ferroseed, Pikachu, Panita. Ooh, Gardevoir with Trainer Gallery. Nice. And, what is that? Okay, a Forest Seal Stone. That's an interesting pack to finish on. I have no idea what those are, but. Cool. The uh, Trainer Gallery Gardevoir, very, very cool though. Um, I mean, I guess I'll showcase that. The winner though is this Unknown V. That looks sick. I love the colors in that. It's got all the different letters. Uh, I mean, not all of them, but a lot of different letters. Uh, it's just really, really cool. Awesome colors. Don't know how useful it is in TCG, but either way, that is uh, a collectible. Cool. Tomorrow is the remainder of the booster box, so another 18 packs, and hopefully with my little trusty companion, the little wet sponge thingy, uh, I can grip the cards a bit easier, which means I can just fly through it. Thanks again for watching, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers!